The arms lower 100% in the swing. They have to lower. Okay. So I kept trying to do Tiger's downswing and I couldn't do it, like no matter what. So I was like, there's clearly something going on why I can't do this. There's a missing link. There's yeah. a missing link and learning the arm lines is what kind of unlocked my swing to be able to really do some Tiger stuff. So. Oh, really good. Hey guys, I'm here with JT Thomas in Skylinks. Yeah. How's it going? What's up? He's out here from New York City and up and down the East Coast where he travels and, and teaches golf all over the place. He's one of the top 40 coaches, young coaches in America. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to ask you a question I ask every coach because I think some of the stuff you're talking about with the arms uh, puts me onto some really interesting stuff. So my question for coaches is that the functional swing plane is like belt high to belt high, it's here, right? Yeah. But when we go back and we bend our right arm, now I'm above it. Yeah. So I have to do, if all I do from the top is rotate, I feel like I'll be over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what I always ask coaches is, what is the mechanism that allows you to turn or, or have power from the top that gets you back here, yeah. you know, on the plane that you need to be to hit a good shot, rather than everybody seems to be trying to do something like that or something weird to get somehow back onto this plane. Essentially, like I said, the biggest reason why everybody struggles with either uh, slide, the good players, the good players in golf get good at sliding. Uh -huh. The bad players in golf don't slide and come over the top. But actually the reasoning is exactly the same. So like they're putting the same force on the club. Um, you're a prime example of that. Yeah. Um, if you try to get open and do all the other stuff that makes the downswing impact look nice, you would hit it much, 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 much worse. Um, you learn how to get the handle back and down from um, just sliding so far. Right. So, I want to stay inside the ball, so, and I want to get to that functional swing play we talked about. Yep. And the only way you can do that from that really retracted lead arm is to keep it pinned, keep it pinned on you. You can never unload it, because if you unload it, again, it will go out most of the time, because it's so here, it will go out. Go, so, to the, go to that kind of bad top for me, yep. JT, because mm -hmm. if people haven't seen, we've done some great videos with JT, but one of the, he's saying like, a lot of bad players or a lot of average players and some good players that have made compensations have are have this uh yeah, humorous this, yeah. under the peck yeah and where there's the good players have this humorous on top of the peck yeah exactly that's a huge difference there. yeah so again i can use my arms so guess what i can lower them into the spot if i if they're like this and i lower my arms i'm going to hit the ground way behind it so i actually have to keep my arms in the air mm -hmm. or i have to do another thing if my arm's low and I want to create any power, I'm going to lower it really fast. If I lower it really fast, I'm going to hit the ground. So in order for me not to hit the ground, now I open my shoulders really bad. So again, I just run into these same scenarios yeah. due to how you load this lead arm. So, so if I, you load the lead arm correctly, yeah. then what gets you back onto the correct plane? Because uh, that's a, that your hands are now really high. Yep. It, they actually so they unload. Okay. So they unload this way and some and some a combination of when we start the process of the uh, shaft shallowing due to good arm positions, we can rotate, that moves the path more out this way, and then we can side bend again to help us lower the arm. But the arms lower 100% in the swing, they have to lower. Okay. Um, they don't just like done. stay up as you turn yeah. and bend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. so you, it's not enough. No, yeah. it's not enough, right? You yeah. gotta get them to lower. Even the most, even the guys who right bend the most have some arms lower and you have to, you okay. miss the ball. Gotcha. Yep. Can you hit one for us? Yeah, absolutely. What kind of shape do you try to hit, JT? Uh, with the driver? Yeah. Honestly, I try to hit the ball super straight. Okay. Um, if yeah. I see anything with the driver, I'm trying to hit it uh, in play. I'm trying to hit a fade most of the time. Because again, my issues were very similar. I figured a lot of stuff out again with studying Tiger, but I had similar issues to you. Yeah. Um, and so uh, by fixing that, uh, my tendency is to go this way. And yeah. if I have good arm lines now, I got to swing way over is what the feeling is for me as well. Sounds like 90% of what you're working on is your top of backswing position. Yeah, I'm working like on... Like if you're in yes. a good spot with the lines of your arms, then you then feel I can free do, to do your stuff. Hey, then I can do the downswing versus okay. like I, my brain freaks out, athletic brains freak out when you have this... Uh, you create this top of the backswing and then you have an intent that doesn't match that. Your brain okay. knows it and then you start getting some chaos. All right, hit so, one first. Yeah, see if I can hit one here. Oh, really good. Yeah, that didn't move at all no, shape-wise. That was good. 118 club head speed. One four seven smash, and uh, I think it was 
173. That's really good. 315. We'll take 173, that. 315 carry and only 1800 spin. That's awesome. Pretty good. Is there a difference for, for like if you were to like mimic the Tiger? Is your swing just a mimic of the Tiger 2000? Or yeah, I'm trying to as much as I can. Uh, the biggest difference was again my arm lines were tough, so I kept trying to do Tiger's downswing and I couldn't do it. Like no matter what, I, well I could do it, but I would hit it very poorly. Yeah. Um, so I was like, there's clearly something going on why I can't do this. There's a missing link. There's yeah. a missing link, and learning the arm lines is what kind of unlocked my swing to be able to really do some Tiger stuff. So pressure into the ground. Don't let it get into your heel too much. Yeah, that's better. Good. Do that again. Just keep like the, the points of your foot. Yeah, keep, now you can give it, relax, relax, yeah, and then reach that, reach it out here. There you go, mm -hmm. that's better, good. Start over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice, there we go, so much better. You feel it kind of under your right foot for some pressure? Where are you, are you feeling any pressure there? I'm feeling it loading into my groin. You're perfect. Like I'm screwing my hip into my femur. Yeah, much better. Great, yeah, that's awesome. And then, and then my shoe, like I feel my, my foot in my shoes. Yeah, kind of gripping out, Yeah. awesome. Yeah, good. And so what this protraction, again, allows you to do is then to start to use your right arm way better. So for you, again, I don't think you load that right arm uh, very much. So having that now, do that again, that same feel with the lead arm, protract it, yeah. Now take your right arm, rotate it to the right. So you're going you're gonna to grab the club up there. So go ahead and grab it here, yeah, good. And then take this right arm, externally rotate it, yeah, relax it, yeah, externally. So twist it to the right, yeah, like that, good. And then grab it, good. And then you can fold this thing and then feel like that's a throw back there. So pull that right arm behind you, fold your right arm, pull it behind you. There you go. Good. Relax a little bit more. Yeah, good. And then get this thing. Relax this, relax this, relax this. There you go. And then pull that thing back if you can. And if you can't pull it back, that means your arm is too low. Okay. So you need to get so, it above uh, your rib cage. What's that? It's called scapular? Scap, so, scap, scap, scap yeah. So the scaps is like the left one is pulling away from the spine. And the and right one is crunching in towards it? Yes, exactly. And gotcha. so, and you got to get it high enough too. So if your lead arm's too low, there you go. So you see how that little move you did where your lead arm kind of went right above your, your rib cage? That's what you want. So lead shoulder is going to be more internal. So lead shoulder is going to be more internal. That allows you to get it higher. See how that's higher now above your ribs? Yeah. Yep, great. And then bend this elbow a ton. Yeah, there you go. That's better. There you go. So much better. Okay, let's do that again. So stretching it. There you go, good. And then don't be bashful about, essentially what's gonna happen is your, lead, your left arm is gonna pull your right arm up against your chest. So the really good feel that I like for that is holding that club almost like a, a little bit like a hockey stick, so having your hands separate, uh -huh. good. And then reach that left arm out, good. And then you're gonna use this right hand, pull your right arm back as far as you can, and that's gonna pull your left arm even more. Yeah, that's, oh, there you go, yeah. that's so good. That's the, that's the load. There we go. This way. Yeah. yeah, and let that, that right one's gonna feel like it goes back forever, okay. forever. Don't be bashful after you reach the left one. Yeah, sweet. Right. So what you'll start to realize is, and this is great guys, so um, it, this shows me how much of <clears throat> Um, you're under the plane most of the time. Yeah. So you're you having you're having a really nice force on the club now, okay. meaning the the handle's getting way more forward. Uh -huh. You're getting more force on the club, but you're tilting back so much because you're so used to having essentially the force that you put on the club is never forward enough. Meaning like this grip never moves like this. Oh, right? Okay. Um, and so that is what, again, gets the handle forward, but also makes the swing direction go to the right. So finally, your brain will understand, oh, I'm putting a force this way, I can finally go, my left pelvis can get lower, and then I can open, and I'll still hit the ball straight, versus if I go like this with my new arm lines, you're gonna hit hooks all day, because right. you're putting a force on the club this way. So go like this, right? Yep. Uh -huh. And try to hit a draw. Yeah, yeah, no, I would just hit it normal. I wouldn't even try to hit a draw. I actually okay. try to hit a fade okay. if you really want to do it correct. All right. But for now, just keep loading those arm lines as well as you can. And then if you keep drawing them or overdrawing them, that's completely fine. <clears throat> nice. 295 carry there. Look how much better spin that was. So that means you yeah, had 1,500 spin. Yeah. Um, way better. Again, you're, so you're starting to get a force on the club okay. um, and transition finally. If you guys haven't seen it yet, we did a really fun video where we took Tiger's, I went in and, and uh, stole his driver out of the USGA Museum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. There's a shop around here that actually Tiger's dad used to go to. And I got this driver made that is very similar 
to Tiger's uh, driver from 2000, which is very, very different than yeah. d drivers use today. Yeah. We did a whole video on the, the ball debate and what the big difference is. And we had some really, really interesting findings when JT was using his like Tiger 2000 feeling swing to do uh, hitting balls with this and that. So you're gonna wanna see that, it's a really fun video. And you can find out more about JT over on Instagram, JT Thomas Golf, or just JT Thomas on Instagram. And uh, also he does uh, cool golf videos at, on the Performance Golf YouTube page. Also, you'll see some behind the scenes stuff that JT and I did on the member section of Be Better Golf. We just hit that little join button there. It's uh, a really fun club where I put up stuff that has not been seen across Be Better Golf. All throughout the years, I've had a lot of stuff that has not gone up or has gone behind a paywall that I'm putting all up onto the uh, member site and then also uh, some new stuff there too. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks, guys.